Hello and welcome to PowerPoint Training Online, where today we've got another tutorial for you. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button, that way then you will get to always get a notification when we produce our latest videos. Now, let's get into it. Welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online, where today we're going to show you how to save your presentation as a video. Now this is pass it along to people who might have missed your talk or your training session or you want to use it as a recap so that if you're delivering training you can then give it to the people you trained and then they can then look back at it whatever suits them they can use it to refresh their minds and on the subject topic or on the topic and you can also create little mini videos as well if you wanted to uh, our, one of our old outros for our videos we used to actually use PowerPoint to create the video so it was another way of doing it so before you save it as a video, you need to create the slideshow. So you need to record the slideshow. Now, really simple. All you need to do is once you've got your slides and your animations and everything else done, you need to go to the slideshow. Like, I am not going to do one here today because I haven't got anything else on this presentation. But it's quite simple. All you got to do is go to slideshow tab on the ribbon. Then click on record slideshow and you can choose to record from current slide or record from beginning. Then you can you can also go to set up slideshow, which allows you to then record narration. So it will record your voice, it will record timings, etc. That's how you would record a PowerPoint slideshow. Now to save it as a video could not be easier. On the ribbon, go to File. Then you want to scroll down to Export. Once you click on Export, you'll see a couple of different options. You can package the presentation for CD. You can create a PDF. You can create handouts or you can create a video. So it is just a case of clicking on create a video and then you want to set to which settings you want to use. So for you can use full HD, you can do it in ultra K, you can do it in ultra HD which is 4K, you can do it in 720 or you can just do it in standard. Now it all depends on how a how big your video is and how much space you have for for availability. So if you've got a big presentation and you know you've only got a small bandwidth or a small storage space, 4K may not be the best. Usually, unless there's heavy, you've got heavy video content, pictures you don't want to lose the quality of, then full HD should be fine for most of your stuff. So once you've selected it, you've then got the option to use recorded timings and narrations. The timings and narrations are what you set up with your animations and your transitions and also the, narr the narrations are then you speaking so you can keep them in. So you can choose the relevant option and away you go. If you're not using your animations and you want to have a specific set time set on the slide, you can just down here choose how many seconds you want per slide. So it starts with five seconds and you can go up and down. Again, it depends on your content and how long you want each people spending on each particular slide. Bearing in mind you don't want to have it too long because people can get a little bit bored and then they'll start skipping ahead and may miss bits. Once you've got all those settings selected and correct the way you want them, it's just a simple case of pre pressing create video. Once you've done that, you'll get the pop-up box asking you to save, choose your location, type in your name, and you can see here it's, be, it's saving as an MP4. You can also save it as a Windows Media Video. We always recommend MP4 because it is the standard. It will work everywhere. It will work on Windows, on Mac, it will work on all web browsers and most online training platforms as well. So once you've selected your file type, press save, and then that will then save the video and you can then use that whenever you wish. So you, can, you can upload it, you can share it, email it around. Thank you for watching everybody. Hopefully you learned something today. If you would like to see more of our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification button, that way then you'll always get an update when we release a new video. And if you found this video was helpful for you, then please hit the like button. Let everybody else know that you liked it. See you soon guys, bye bye.